It really is a chance to connect generations. Just love just walking in and looking at, at the different things. Inside an old post office is a museum putting its own stamp on the Sandusky community. In 1988, the first set of carousel stamps were issued, and those are in the banner up on the wall there. The Marangara Museum opened in the early 90s with bits of history that take people back. These two animals right here are from Euclid Beach. That was in Cleveland. It closed in 68, I believe. And I lived very near there as, as a small child and rode them frequently. <laughs> And in the heart of it all, visitors can ride the wooden Alan Herschel carousel. Now this carousel was made in 1939 and even at a whopping nine tons, it used to travel from city to city throughout the Midwest. And aside from these animals, just about everything on this unit is original, including its incredibly fast speed. Carousels were the original thrill ride. They went fast. They weren't for children. It has a lot of animals on it that our people here have carved. It has our own stamp on it. We do one every year, and it's a fundraiser for the museum. A handful of local artists design and craft one horse a year. And it takes up to 500 hours of work to finish one piece. It's all painted uh, probably exactly like they did 100 years ago. She does it all by hand. She still uses oil paint. It's a happy place. You know, people come in, might come in grouches, but they don't leave a grouch. <laughs> in Sandusky and at Lawless, Fox 8 News.